Hey guys, it's Eric and welcome to another Tuttle Tuesday. So today's video is a bit special because I get paired against FM Faustino Oro and I'm like, I've heard that name before. I've heard that name before because he just broke the all-time record of being the youngest player to cross 2300 Fide, achieving that at nine years old. So you end up playing. Maybe I started feeling a bit nervous. You're going to have to tune in and find out, see how the game went. And thanks for watching. Strong title Tuesday. Hikaru, Karwana, MVL, Feruja, Duda, just all the names, all the names as usual. Okay. It's okay. We'll play my usual setup. D3. Okay, that's... Knight C3 is the main move. Bishop D3 is playable, but a different structure. Knight C6, D6. I want to play E5. E5 wasn't playable because of Queen A5 check earlier for white. Okay. I don't know where to put this bishop. Here? Here? There's a few options. I'm very tempted, sir. Very tempted to play g5. If bishop here, I'm going bishop g4 because they can't go f3 and then knight h5. You know what? Let's try this. Oh, I win material. <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't even looking at it. Okay, okay. That's, that's no problem there, eh? Push him. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. If pawn takes h4, open her up. There we go. I thought I was just trying to play position, and then I realized that was. Skewering the pieces. Good stuff. Push. This is not looking good for Buddy. Not looking good for Buddy. GG. Here we go. Get the music on. I'm going to allow the Nimzo. But I won't stray too far. I'll play the a chill line. What happens here? I don't know this variation. I'm just going to play e4 because it looks, looks logical. Maybe e5 is the move here, to be honest. Is it? Takes knight here? Eh, it looks interesting, but it's... Okay. Grabbing space is, is pretty comfortable.
Don't have to think so much. Well, what kind of setup do I want? We're going to go F3 because I don't know yet. I actually don't know yet. I'm going to take this way. We have a bit of a Benoni structure. My knight's going to go to G3. My bishop's going to go to E2 and I'm going to castle. Ship E2 and just castle. If F5 I can take... No, this this looks dubious for black. I just... look. It looks quite slow to me. I will play F4. Take away this square. Because I'm just trying to think about how black's going to finish development. Probably King H1 is a useful prophylax prophylactic move. Queen H4 is a waiting move that's really standard here. That's another one. But I mean, the position's asking, asking for this. It's asking to sack a pawn and play thematically. Here, then Knight E4. Here, bishop g5. We'll take. Take. Bishop g5, d6, bishop c4, lots of ideas, but to me this looks really bad for, for black. Their king is just way too open. But now, what is the move? I'll be... I don't see a clear win, so I'm going to go a5 and just... Kill Black's position. I can grab the pawn. I'm going to take here, but let me just think. What am I thinking about? Seriously. Um, push. Bring all the pieces in. Queen h5 is in the air among, well, all the pieces are hanging. This is, this would be quite impressive for me to mess up. But still possible. <laughs> still possible for sure. Let's go h3 before we forget. We don't want any back rank issues. I'm even gonna be safe. It's not common for a GM to play on in this kind of position, but I'm not complaining. But it's not, I wouldn't be having a lot of fun if I was uh, in my opponent's shoes.
Checkmate. Go twos. But it's a it's a marathon. We got another Nimzo, eh? We'll change the lines. This is popular these days. But uh, I don't know. I don't know the situation. I do know not to play G3. I do know not to play E4. I'll play Net F4 for shits and giggles. Let's try this. Grab in some more space. I'm going here. Letting you know in advance, this might be a high energy game. I'm just feeling hyper all of a sudden. I can't help it. I can't help it, but I'm feeling hyper. It just, I think it's because the pre-workout <laughs> just hit. But uh, I'm, I'm ready to make some uh, bad moves. Unfortunately. Well, we're going to castle the queen side. So what if I go here? If I take... a little concerning here we're gonna take and ask questions later so if I give a check the king moves and I go bishop b2 after bishop c8 my queen is trapped so we're gonna take I'm up a pawn, but <laughs> it's not a position to brag about. As you can probably tell, my king is underdeveloped. My pieces are not coordinated. Yeah, I saw this move. Okay, my first instinct is to do this. And then bishop c4. Okay, that's okay. If bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes, king c2, I have bishop c4. We just need to survive. Then I see a way to survive. And now we're going rook here and f3. That looks very accurate. f3 just defends rook d2. That looks very accurate. My bishop is nicely anchored in here. I'm covering all the entry squares, all the penetrations covered, like d4, d3, d2, d1. Everything's covered. This is good. And... My bishop can't be attacked. Yeah, this is winning. Should be. I won't, uh, I won't rush my comment. We've all been there. Things can happen. Things can and will happen. But I'm now in a position that I can even go for some trades. Am I not? If here, we're not taking because of this trick, we're going rookie one. And my next move is king d3.
I know Black King is gonna have issues too. There's back rank problems. Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Let's start with this. Hoping for the bishop to move. I have an outside pass pawn I can create as well. Should be good. Ah, that's a trick. Got it. Why am I converting this so poorly? Mr. Duda, we meet again. We played in Title Tuesday a couple weeks ago and I had one of my better games, but uh, he's a tough, tough customer. Let's go D6. I can go B5 instead. I don't need to go D6, but just depends what kind of setup I'm looking for. I'll go the rookie eight bishop f8 way. Fian cutting the bishop here, probably playing h6 and g6 if given the chance. But first, I'm gonna reroute my knight. My knight on c6 is not doing much. Okay, we'll go h6 now. c6 um, is what I'm planning to play if white plays d5 and tries to cramp the position. I could go consider knight b6. Ask white to clarify what's happening over here. Is that really a move? Thought I had it covered. One sec. C E D four E D four C five A. Eh? We're gonna start with this, but I think there's something potentially more concrete that I did not choose to play, which I'm not too happy about. No, I'm not. I 
All right. I don't like being down on time. I, I think I played like a, a bit of a pussy there. <laughs> I think that's the word, only word I can think of. Because there's a move I wanted to play and I just didn't didn't want to calculate it all. I wanted to play C5. C6 is uh, low T. But maybe we'll go for D5 at the right moment. Doesn't look like the worst position in the world, but I have to be careful. Everything's defended, everything's covered, but... I don't know if I should be going D5 or C5, or trading. Trading, I have a bit less space. White has a bit more space, white has a small edge, minimum, maybe more. Trying to clarify the situation. Which should have some drawbacks as well. <clears throat> but the thing is white has isolated pawns on like on A4 as well, so. If this gets pretty messy, I'd like to think I have some resources. What's that move? Trying to equalize here forcefully. Bishop B5. Okay, here we go here. One of these positions, huh? I feel like my position's more than okay. I mean, not better, but it's one of those easy to mess up because things are still pretty open. Feels pretty easy to mess up. Oh, it's a mouse slip! Fuck! Oh, for fuck's sakes.
Fuck, man! Oh. Garyman. Although it's June, so gay Ryman. Good luck, gay Ryman. I'm gonna play F3. This is what Amon played a lot growing up. The same-ish variation against the King's Indian. Although now we're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I usually play the black side of this because I'm a Fianchetto player with black. This should be two. I've never studied this from the white side, but I've had games from the black side. So I think I have a, a baseline understanding. I could be wrong there though. I'm preparing to take with a C pawn, not the E pawn. I think there's some cases where you can take with the E pawn, but it's very select. What flag is this? I think that's Bangladesh. Oh, no. I just saw green. It's Turkmenistan. I think we played Turkmenistan in my first Olympiad. And I think my opponent was drunk. Because I could really smell the booze on him. There's a few ways. I can go bishop g5 to try to stop this pawn, but then they go queen b6, they double attack. So it's not entirely clear to me. I can also castle and reroute my knight from h1 to f2. This pawn, it's a thorn, but it's also a weakness. So let's go knight f2. Okay. I have that weird feeling that this is going to be a tough game. <laughs> I don't like that. Bishop d7, I'm expecting. I definitely... Can I go f4 here is my question. No. Something's off. <laughs> I'm up a pawn, but this is like a Benko Gambit. This is like a good Benko Gambit or something. Let's not panic yet, ladies and gentlemen. f4 knight c4 bishop c1 the knight's coming to c4 that's friggin annoying We'll figure out something. Pawn on h3, I'd love to remove at some point, but... I mean, it's hard not to suggest this move. What the heck is happening here? Takes. Can I go g4 after queen takes f5? My head. Like, I think I can.
We're doing it. If we get burned, we get burned. Forgive me. F4 was the other move as well that was probably good. F4 instead. Oh my goodness, you dumb... I'm so dumb! Threatening checkmate! What am I doing? Sorry. I'm so dumb. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed right now. Of course... Oh, it's such... Fuck. Sorry. It's not stalemate. <sighs> Crypto chess. Yeah, this is very fashionable these days, eh? I really need to do a deep dive into this opening. <laughs> because it's just played all the time now. Probably knight d7 next move. <laughs> I have my pieces out. Unless there's an attacking idea here for white, black is probably comfortable. Unless there's something right now.
It's kind of a move I wanted to see. Okay, I'm going to go for something unorthodox. I'm giving up the bishop pair. Because I thought this is actually good for me. Some position like this. Which could be very wrong. But I thought the dark squared bishop would uh, be a superior piece compared to the light squared bishop. I guess we even have this. There's a few ideas. Bishop d6. Let's start with this first. Oh, here we can take. I didn't see that. That's kind of smart. <laughs> it's kind of smart. Jeez. Oh, this is, yeah, we'll see. Okay. I like this maneuver. I like what I did with my black bishop there. The three bishop moves. We got Blitzstream. There we go. Gonna see Blitzstream in four weeks in Paris. So that's not terrible timing. Good luck, sir. Bon chance. I will warn you, I'm not the most up-to-date in this opening. Well, Queenside Castle, see what happens. He's playing really fast, eh? I'm gonna go F4 and grab some space. But the alternative was playing E4, which is super tempting. I probably should have done that.
All right, we'll both do it. Position looks good. Looks very good. E4. Take. Playing too slowly here. That's for sure. Let's put my king on a1. Really? That can't be the move. Some prophylaxis. This should be three. I didn't play because of queen c6. I have a good position here, but I'm definitely not seeing good moves. Like moves that really increase the advantage and I need to. Wow, okay. Why didn't I go bishop b4? I don't know.
Fuck! I just blundered in time trouble. What the hell is going on here? I was completely winning and I just panicked here. I just stopped, I just malfunctioned with eight seconds. Every, like, I can just take this, right? I can take this and I just malfunctioned. I even saw this and I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose the game, which is true. But like, but like everything was winning, but I just had eight seconds and I, I malfunctioned. Knight one after queen c1 was nice. Rook h2, knight d3. But I couldn't figure it out. Oh, we're playing Jordan, buddy Jordan, who's going to be uh, our chess bra team in Germany. Yuppie. Is he going to go f4? We have a decent score, so I guess opponents will be pretty motivated here. To hunt me. Is he going to go d4? He's going to go h3, eh? What should I try here? I don't know. Oh, he played d3. I didn't expect that. That's a mouse slip. That's... What's with the mouse slips? For... F this has happened like twice today. It's... What's... Okay, there's some setting here that's fucked. There's some setting because I didn't drag it there. Peace. Drag. I'm only into drag. I don't, I'm not a clicker. On squares. I'm dragging chess pieces. No, but this is ridiculous. He could have taken it. I don't know. This is just... This has been happening too much. Well, my bishop is supposed to be on f8, where I can defend the squares, it's on d8. So I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking at here. I'm really not happy to have to deal with this kind of position. But, life goes on. Try to make some of these squares worthwhile. At least my bishop... What the hell did I click? Okay. All right. Let's check the pieces in. I got to move my bishop back and connect my rooks. You can go g5. I would hesitate a little bit. If I was playing uh, white. As long as this bishop doesn't get in the game, it does provide some opportunity. Take, take, take. If Jordan mates me, he mates me. That's...
Probably going to start here. What a fucking bad move by me. King eight, this was such a bad move. Oh man, that's frustrating. I am gonna get mated, but not the way I wanted. This is super annoying. Jeez. Oh well, not the worst result. Um. Oh yeah, no. Okay. This late title Tuesday is stacked to hell.
All right, Elyanov. He's a very principled player. Very classically trained. Yeah, he's going to go for this d5 variation anyways. The question is, what line am I going to play? This is a little painful. Not knight d2, we know that. Wait, this is following my game. I mean, this is well-known theory, but uh, Votashik played this line against me in Austria last year, and we had a low T draw because I don't know how to get an advantage without spending a lot of time in a chess space cave looking at engines and recent games I he played knight d4 we traded and we went for the knight a3 variation I don't know besides knight d4 what the other moves are I mean I played against Tomaszewski in 2014 here like what is that a move holy shit I've never seen stuff like this before. Why didn't I go knight c3? <laughs> well, well, like, what's wrong with me? What? You have to be fucked in the head to not play knight c3. Now I just have a bad position. Like, I am actually disturbed by what I just did. I'm completely messed up in the head. I. Oh man. I need to pay attention. I'm so disgusted with the position I'm looking at. So disgusted. I'm up, I'm up a pawn, but I got double Bs here. My pieces aren't coordinated. I have no, I just have nothing to do. It doesn't make me happy. Not happy. Queen d5 is annoying, is it not? We're hanging on by a thread after Queen D5, Knight E3. Just hanging on by a fucking thread. Like, fuck me. But I'm looking at my pieces. If you're not grossed out, maybe you should be.
I'm trying hard though. That's that's what I can promise. I'm trying to untangle. Oh man. Okay, are we just going to have a normal Sicilian? Is this the second time I've fallen for this guy's stuff? Here? Here? Here, 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 here. Oh man, that's fucking annoying. I think it is. We've been here before. We've played this.
I've fallen for that twice, <laughs> which is not good. Not good. A strong line. Queen here. I don't see a good move, unfortunately. Oh, this is just dead lost. Ugh. We can try stuff, but it's not gonna look promising. Crazy game, by the way. I think I'm getting mated by force, by the way. I blundered, but it's lost anyways. <sighs> All right, 
We can salvage it. We're playing the world's youngest FM, I think, or youngest 2300 in chess history. So I'm three times his age, which makes me feel, I think he's like nine or 10, but I've heard of him, Faustino. We have to defend the GM title while we can. Check. Yes, yes. Youngest player to achieve FM by points in chess history. That's, that's scary. <laughs> when I was 10, I was just starting out in chess. We're gonna take. Castle. I'm gonna go e5. I'm gonna go for a quick uh, early push. Defend with a rook. d3 and bishop f4. Is bishop f4 bad? Maybe it is. Okay, let's go queen here then. Then we can support bishop f4. If knight c6, we'll double the pawns. And we might have knight c4, bishop f4 ideas. I don't want to trade, I want to put pressure on the young lad. Although endgames are also generally not their uh, strong suit. 2300 at 9 is insane. That is insane. And yeah, I think he's working on new records. Let's go h3 to extend our bishop. Don't want to trade. We know that. We're not trading today. We're earning squares. Maybe a5, knight a4, knight b6, maybe knight d6, maybe bishop d6, maybe knight b6 if this knight slips. The knight attacks. I'll tuck my bishop in. World youngest FM. How a player suffers says a lot about them. If you can defend this, that would be very impressive. I'm going to go a5, earn a bit of space. Still trying to find an active plan for, for my opponent. I have a bit of a grip here. My queen is good, I'm controlling a lot of squares, and maybe, just maybe, knight a4, knight b6 is next. Let's rook lift. Put the rook on b3, I actually... Becoming more okay with that. I mean, g5 is a move. I'm just trying to understand if I'm losing anything. By allowing black to extend... Maybe there's an f4 move. It's true. Sorry, f5, f4. He, he finds it. f5, f4. That's impressive. I'll give him that. Let's start with this. We're going to take here. Knight d5 is most likely my next move. 
Although uh, ideally I'd like something better. We can actually just trade the queens. You know what? We're playing a kid. Let's trade. We're doing well. Let's bring the pieces in. Nice, nice. Up three pawns, about to pick up a fourth and everything is uh, secure. Okay, we, we're we in good company. If you look at where I am at seven half at 11, Ferruja is at 30th and Andraken is at 31st. So, we definitely were in a friggin' strong field. And then, okay, okay. You know, people like Eric, you finished 31st, haha, you suck. A, I beat the youngest FM in chess history. You know, the top under 10 player in the world, right? B, I finished ahead of Kramnik and I was right behind Feruja in the group photo. It's a strong cohort over here. Kramnik... Andraken, Hansen, and Firuja. So I'm in good company. We played some tough games. Gave it our all, no regrets. Besides just playing better. And Amon did well.